Okay, so a description describes, and you can take it step by step. I think this is actually a pretty interesting essay and not too hard for you. Let's go ahead and look at some commonly used words because we're describing things. So words like above and across, after, against, ahead of, along, among, around, at. These are all A words, of course. We're in the alphabet here. These are great words. Why? Because they're giving positions. They're showing what comes first, what is uh, on top, what is on bottom. These kinds of words are really useful. Before, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, beyond, by, close to, far from, from, to, right? In, in back of, in front of, inside, near, next to, on, on top of, opposite, outside, over, past, throughout, like full, throughout, everywhere, under, with, without. Okay, uh, inside your book there are many more of these examples and you can use your QEC software to see more examples and example essays, example sentences, and example words to use. The point is these words help us to feel, to see, to experience what you're trying to tell us. So when you write about walking down the street at the night market, that's easy to write, but it doesn't give us much description. If you write, I was walking past, beyond, a street vendor, and the smell of stinky tofu overwhelmed me, and then I walked under a bridge, and then beyond the storefront. You see, so all of these words give you this feeling of position. It's really wonderful. Have fun with a description essay. A description essay is a really good chance to show me your feelings, to be personal, really to show something that you're going to describe. Let's look at a practice now for the description. And in your book on page 78, inside your ebook, page 78, we have an online practice. Use your QEC software, and you can choose one of these topics to describe. Now, some of these things you're very familiar with, like you can choose to describe your cell phone or your dream house or maybe something a little bit scary like an accident or maybe something you like to eat or maybe something in your neighborhood maybe something a little bit e exciting and scary combined together makes you a little bit nervous or anticipating some problem or an emergency in an emergency room at a hospital how about you tell us how to do something step by step right that would be how to buy something online that's a kind of what are the steps involved in that? That could also be a description. How about telling us how to become a great person, a great thinker, or tell us how to reduce your weight or lose weight? All of these are great topics for you to use in a description. Choose one. Please choose one and then write 100 words in your essay using the QEC software, 100 words.